hello everyone so i have to do this video so i can show you what is on my table and how we are going to go about the testing of the um pressing ion without the resistive load booster and the pressing ion with the resistive load booster please stay with me i'm videoing my face so i can swipe the camera down so you can see what is on the table for us to do the test so i'm sorry this is not a professional video just for a test purpose so let me turn the camera back so right here um i have a a phone right here i'm going to click the timer as you can see i'll click the timer so you can see that there is no any pause and play in this video that i'm doing right here so here is my booster my resistive load booster i've modernized it to this level you see right here so as you can see this is the booster right here and this is the uh this is the well it's still, it's still hot a little bit i've been testing it for a long time so here is water right here so this um pressing ion is um as you can see right in here 2000 watts is a 2000 watt and this is a supply from the uh from the wall right there so there is nothing hidden in it so for a start i'm putting this timer so you can be able to see as i'm doing the video you can be able to see everything that is happening from this timer so you can know there is no cut and play anything this is a real test so let's check the voltage first of all please follow me with this video so you can get everything you need to get here is a timer there is no cut and play in this video this is a straight video so here is the water to test the pressing ion as you can see there is the water on the pressing ion nothing is happening on the pressing ion as you can see no bubble no bubble is bubbling so meaning uh, it's still it's, it's still a bit warm a bit warm so nothing is happening here so let's check the voltage on this our supply so this is the multimeter right here i'm taking it to where it says i'm um, 750 volt then i'm using it in one hand to do this because this is not a professional video right here so i just want to check the voltage so we can work with the voltage quickly let's check it up the voltage of of this or the voltage is on voltage so the voltage is um 214 volts 216 215 so let's just stick to 215 volts plus it's from trade between 216 15 and 14. so let's stick with two 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 fifteen volts that is 215 so we are sure of the voltage we are sure of the voltage entering this uh this system so right now we are going to do a test on this um, particular uh, pressing iron right here we are going to do a test on this pressing iron right here why i connected this to the pressing iron right here is so that um, once i'm plugging it to my booster to be able it to be convenient for me to be able to remove and, and put it back so you understand me so let us test the pressing ion on what it is consuming without i'm sorry i'm going to take a bit time but i'm going to be fast as possible and i'm going to be quick so let us check how many amps from this multimeter right here this is a multimeter this is a, a direct amps check multimeter so let's put it as in our amps you see it's on 20 amps right here i said it on 20 now so let's test what it will consume you are putting it to the sir so we are checking the arms right here what it will consume what it will consume normally without any of my device that i've made this is a very, very resistive booster so well so as you can see it's consuming 6.48 amps as you can see the light is on the light is on on the pressing ion and it's hot right here so i just want to show you how many it, 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 it consumes now it will take time before it becomes hot so let's remove it and let's put our own circuit as you can see it's even bringing smoke from the 
from it right here so i have to unplug it immediately you get because um the wire i use here are not strong wires so you can see the amount of energy is pulling from this system so as you can see from the arms from the arms right here i've forgotten the arms it gives but when i'm doing this video i will calculate everything and put it on the screen right here so you can see what it consumes so as you can see what it consumes normally without this booster so let's um it's still on arms so let me remove it right here let me remove what i put here right? these things i attach i'm doing all these things so you can be able to see everything we've spent we've spent about five minutes so let's let's remove it so these are this is our booster this one is made by me i've done all the circuits and everything there inside here i also do for electric motors also and the rest but this specifically is meant for pressing iron and resistive load resistive load like this pressing iron we we, we regard this pressing iron as a direct element heating load it's still hot a bit it's hot because of the first because of the first because of the first um, the, um, test we did but nevertheless we are going to connect our own once we connect it you are going to notice that um, the light you know when a pressing iron is fully hot the light here will go off so so I attach a wire here so you can see the connection that I did so this is a very compact device that I made a very compact device so you can use from here but uh, because of this video there is no plug for me to use so let's insert this inside the uh, coming I'll, I'll have to use one hand to do it permit me i'm just using my left hand to do all this so it's inserted so i'll have to sorry i'll have to put it right here and um, i have to connect this multimeter so i can read the arms it is consuming I'm sorry for the video not being professional for now it's night already so I just have to do this video come in let me off the multimeter the multimeter is an auto off once it is on for a long time it will off so let me off it and on it back to 20 amps so as you can see this is the 20 amps one leg is connected to this booster I'm, I'm going to put one leg of this to the supply and this other supply from here from the so you can read the arms let me put it here so you can see it's consuming 2.76 and it is on right here so we are going to wait for it as you can see it's only little it's only doing little spark right here so let's wait for a while so it can get hot and you will notice this light will off it this light will off after this light will off after the pressing iron is hot so as you can see it's consuming 2.7 2.79 and the pressing iron is working actively with this low amperage so you can use this for your inverter you can use it this is a 2000 watt pressing iron a 2000 watt pressing iron so here is it this is the time i have spent eight minutes 13 you spend over eight minutes on doing on this video so this is my construction right here this is made by me sorry as you can see the light has gone off so the arms has has everything has off you can see let's test it as you can see as you can see it's very hot very very hot very very hot bringing out smoke so let's wait for it to come up back let's just wait for it to come up back so you can see what i'm talking about sorry i can't pause this video and on because we are using a timer sorry the timer has shifted because of the water i'm pouring so let's wait for it to come up and it has come up again you can see two points it has gone up 2.83 2.83 so this is what it will consume you see it has off again because the system is already hot enough to do anything you want to do so with this low current compared to the other one 
you will see that this booster that I've made I've greatly done a good job here right here so I, I deal on this for resistive load boosters I also deal on also for electric motors also to reduce power from electric motors it can be used for different design I also train people now let me show you I also train people I teach people on this system that I'm doing so this, this, this is just a little clip to show you that energy can be reduced to any amount. One thing there is that it depends on your knowledge and how you fix things and do stuff. So many people don't believe in this. But um, this is just a small, a little demonstration about how all these things work. So these things basically are for energy consumption, to reduce energy consumption drastically. So what I do basically, I do energy, uh, um, sorry, I do energy reduction system basically on electric motors. The one I do on electric motors, you can use it for your grinding engines, you can use it for your for grinding engines, your fan, for your pump, for anything that requires electric motor modification. It drastically bring the 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 wattage down. If you check most of my videos i i did so many of them i tested so many of them so and i also have the one for resistive load also and i also do also a transformer that is um that is a uh, that that can actually give you a low power that is what you feed into the transformer you have a greater power on the output section so that is what i do basically here is just a little test of what i do I've been uh, I've not been posting videos for a long while now because of some certain things that happened um, because of uh, my emails and some certain things I've not been well for a long period of time and um, I have to check on myself because um, the complain of stress and the rest of them so uh, I am sorry I can't disclose the type of emails it is but um, it, it the sickness greatly weighed me down that I have to take rest and the rest of them so I love you, my subscribers. This is what I do. If you want to apply for the online training, you have to apply. For, if you want to apply, it is a paid online training. It is not a free course. It is a paid online training. So you can call the numbers on your screen. And if you want to do it, God bless you. Thank you so much. See you next other time. Bye.